Gemini refers to a private and a licensed digital asset exchange responsible for offering custodian services for digital holdings. Gemini was first started way back in 2015 in the U.S. by Winklevoss twins Tyler and Cameron. It later expanded its operations to Asia and Europe. They do offer Ether and Bitcoin trading which started back in May 2018 and are now set to offer to trade in Zcash. Bitcoin and Litecoin Cash are said to be on the way to being approved. Zcash is considered to be a privacy coin and regards itself as one of the permissionless cryptocurrency which can protect transaction privacy by use of zero knowledge. What is Gemini? Competing against other top cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase and Kraken, Gemini does allow its users to purchase, sell and store basic cryptos like the Ether and Bitcoin and exchange them against each other and for fiat currencies. Gemini is a Latin word that stands for twins and it does indicate duality. The Gemini platform has been conceptualized to take in both forms of money the old age and the new age cryptocurrencies. However, the Winklevoss twins have so far not yet received approval of the SEC for their Bitcoin ETF although they have managed to carve a niche for themselves in various crypto transactions. Working on the principles of trust, liquidity, and security, Gemini is known to offer its retail together with its institutional customers a great platform where they can purchase, sell and store two of the popular digital currencies. Ether and Bitcoin are in a secure and regulated environment. The marketplace of Gemini does offer to trade between etc. USD, ETF, BTC, and BTC, USD. No short trading or margin allowed. All the orders that have been sent on Gemini are fully funded since the exchange does not provide margin trading such as the one that is offered by its competitor like Kraken. It does not allow for short trading. Together with the standard market order which gets filled immediately at the best market price that is available at a particular instant, Gemini does offer different types of limit orders where a trader can select to get his or her traded carried out in a way that matches his needs best. They do include a standard maker or cancel mock, immediate or cancel IOC and auction only OW limit orders. Currently, purchases using a debit card, credit card, cash, or check are not available. Customer will have to link a bank account and start a wire transfer or ACH deposit from the international bank or a local U.S. bank for trading requirements. It is also possible for one person to move both the Ether and Bitcoin tokens from the crypto wallet to their account and vice versa. For one to make a deposit of the crypto coins in Gemini account, he or she will have to generate an exclusive deposit address on the Gemini platform and after that start the transfer from their wallet towards the address they generated. The first of a kind custodian service. Together with being a standard currency virtual exchange, the Gemini is also known to provide custodial services to its clients. Gemini was first licensed by the NYSDFS to hold the digital assets of the customer in trust and on behalf of the customer. This means that the digital currency holdings are in most cases held to particular banking compliance standards and capital reserve requirements. Gemini is also obligated to fulfilling and maintaining the right cybersecurity measures. Gemini does have a banking relationship with the Standard Chartered Bank of New York where all the funds of its customer are retained. Adherence to requirements like that does act like insurance of a person's funds together with crypto holdings and does ensure that they are all backed with enough monetary reserves. With individual customers being given zero fee, default and depository account type, the big institutional customers can go for the segregated custody type of account that offers a secure, offline and auditable storage referred to as the Gemini proprietary cold storage system. The latter service can easily be charged and is great for institutional clients like hedge funds, exchange traded funds, and mutual funds. The road so far. Started way back in January 2015, this exchange went live for United States customers in October 2015. It started its Canada operations in June 2016, thereby making it possible for ETH BTC trading for its customers in Canada. It opened its doors for United Kingdom customers two weeks later which marked its entry into the European market. The first ever daily Bitcoin auction was introduced in September 2016. The daily Bitcoin auction is a method that is popularly followed in almost all the modern stock exchanges although it was the first for the crypto exchange. The daily Ether auctions were started in July 2017. 
Gemini later expanded to South Korea, Singapore, Hong Kong, and Japan between October and November of 2016 to cater to the rising population of crypto enthusiasts in Asia. Most recent challenges. As with the security exchange and standard marketplace, Gemini so far has been having a fair share of challenges along its two year journey. There are some which were due to cryptocurrency development like high price volatility and hard forks, as others were due to the infrastructure and platform performance of Gemini. The exchange ran into lots of issues and at one point had to temporarily disable all Ether withdrawals and deposits after the Ethereum hard fork back in July 2016. Although there were preventive measures which were taken, similar issues did take place during Bitcoin hard fork on August 2017 of Bitcoin Cash. In the same month, the production environment of Gemini that was set on Amazon Web Services did go past the resource quota that was allotted and it did hit the trading snags for several hours. However, the problem was later solved after Gemini decided to go for more web resources to help in addressing such issues. Most customers did lose access to Gemini's web and API interfaces for several hours due to the unprecedented rise in traffic caused by the increasing Bitcoin prices. Conclusion With the most recent success settlement for the Bitcoin futures, which was at a price of $10,900, as had been revealed by the BTC USD Gemini's 4 p.m. auction, Gemini does continue to surge ahead in the transaction marketplace of the cryptocurrency. Visit cryptonani.com to learn everything about cryptocurrencies.